Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Audrey and I don't know if you guys can hear it but it's raining outside so I just decided to make a video because there's nothing else to do honestly. For today's video I just wanted to talk to you guys about this perfume that I've been loving lately. It's not a new perfume but it's new to me. It is Salvatore Ferragamo's Senorina Misteriosa. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but this is how the bottle looks like. I just freaking love the design of this bottle. I used to have first version of the Senorina, I think it's just called Senorina. And I was not a fan of that one, it was very fruity and just like very genetic. But this flanker, it is amazing. The packaging is amazing. I just love a good black bottle. But before I start telling you guys what I think about this perfume, I want to read you the description on Fragantica. So it says, the opening is fresh and bitter with flavors of wild blackberries and neroli. Orange blossom and sensual tuberose contribute to the oriental fruity character of the scent. Patchouli gives a gives a sophisticated touch while black vanilla mousse marks the base. Yummy, right? It sounds delicious. Anyways, that was the description that Fragantica has. Now to my opinion and to what I think it smells like. Long story short, or oh, not long story short, but more to make this review short and right to the base, this smell as if black opium and Killian Love Don't Be Shy had a baby. That is basically what it smelled like to me. I don't know if you guys have any of the perfumes that I just mentioned. I know everybody has smelled black opium before. And Killian Love Don't Be Shy is basically just a warm marshmallow perfume. Even though this doesn't have marshmallow in it, you guys trust me, it smells just as if black opium. I have the other toilet version, so I don't know if that makes any difference. But black opium, all the toilet, and Killian. Love Don't Be Shy, had a baby. Ooh, so yummy. When you first spread, the first thing that you get immediately is blackberry. It just goes straight to the point. It is a sweet tart blackberry. Smell delicious. You know what? I'm gonna spray this on my skin. I don't even know why I use testers. Like, I need to smell it. Oh, my neck just popped. Ooh, all this hair. I need to smell it on my skin to really know if I'm gonna like it. Oof. Okay, when I first, like the opening on me is basically black opium, but based on the nose, the opening is a juicy sweet tart blackberry, which yes, yeah, true. It is so delicious from beginning to base. Like, I already know I love this perfume. It lasts forever and ever. Eight hours, forever on clothes until the next day, not, on, not even until the next day, until you do laundry. It lasts. Then you start getting very sweet. This perfume is very, very, very sweet. So if you don't like, how can I explain it? If you're looking for a really warm, kind of spicy fall perfume, in my opinion, this is not exactly it. I know the name is called Señorina Misteriosa, and it is mysterious to like to a point, but it's not like mysterious. Like it's not like a spicy deep perfume. It's not that. But even though it's not that, it is still amazing. It's fruity, yes, it is creamy. Smell like it is warm, but it's still tart and sweet. It is spicy, but not like a cinnamon spice, it's not smoky or anything like that. So if you think that's what you're gonna get by looking at the bottle? It is not. It's not mysterious this way. It's not mysterious that way. It is basically fruity, sweet, creamy, sweet, jammy. Has a little bit of tart to it. It's fizzy. You know when you smell a perfume, it make your nose tingle. Like, mmm. Like, like that. I don't know how to explain it. I just love this perfume. It is very fresh, creamy, very gourmet, sweet. Like, it's delicious. Um, I wouldn't wear this in the summer just because it is too sweet and it can become very clogging on your skin plus like i said it lasts forever and i can only imagine in the summer when your body temperature is so hot how powerful this perfume will be but i think this perfume will work better on the winter and spring i particularly wouldn't like it on the fall because i prefer more cinnamon 
like spices, perfumes. Smelling it from the tester is not the same as smelling it on your own skin. I do not like testers, but I see people on YouTube like smelling it out of testers and I'm like, oh, that looks so professional, but at the same time, I I don't like it. I would 100% recommend it if you like sweet, very, very sweet. Like, you got this. It is sweet, so be ready for it. If you are on the market for something sweet that made your nose tingle, this is perfect for you. I love it so much. And if you guys have tried it, let me know what you think. Anyways, that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know your opinion if you own this perfume, what you think about it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.